Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. And, and this, this is, is the Largely Catechized, Catechized Life. Life. Who is your God? That is a deep question. That is just a, a really easy way to provoke this face from somebody. <laughs> because, I mean, they wrote a whole book about it. How do you quickly answer the depth of the divine? And, and honestly, if, if you're answering somebody outside of your faith, um, you know, how do you paint a picture of somebody who's worth all this religiosity? in spite of a world that looks like this, and for a church that behaves like us. The church teaches you the answer. Most of you probably have it memorized. It's the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. This, this is what we believe. This is the credo, the creed, the I believe. And my very favorite part about it is that it's not about me. It's about God. This is important because the law... Well, it wasn't too pretty when I tried to stand up next to it. Luther writes, Thus far we have heard the first part of Christian doctrine, in which we have seen all that God wishes us to do or leave undone. Now there properly follows the creed, which sets forth to us everything that we must expect and receive from God, and to state it quite briefly, teaches us to know him fully. See, I love the creed because it's not about me. The parts that are about me don't tend to go so well. Because as it turns out, I'm not God. The law paints a picture of holiness, of perfection, of, you know, Jesus. And I'm not him. I'm a sinner. The creed tells me what I can actually expect from my God, and that is really important. Because if you don't know exactly who your God is, then expecting anything specific from him, like, you know, mercy, well, that seems pretty far-fetched. If you don't know exactly who your God is and what you can expect from him, answers to that all-important question, who is your God, sound more like excuses. Descriptions of him sound more like vague feelings of tingly-wingly love than in a God who would actually have anything to do with you. And that's on purpose. Because if you expect God to be a just God, and you know that you're a sinner, you probably don't want him too involved in your life. The creed tells us exactly what he'll do for us, though. And here, here we have a picture of hope. I believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I have a God who created, redeemed, and sanctifies me. I have a God who works in mercy for sinners. Every bit as much as he is a God of wrath, he is a God of love. And I see these two things come together in the person of Jesus Christ who was crucified and raised for me and all sinners. Here, we can actually give answer to that very difficult question, who is your God? It's easy. You just say the creed. Higher Things thanks you for your support. Please continue to support the work we do with youth by going to our website, at higherthings.org, clicking on the support and donating securely through PayPal. Your gift helps us in our mission to support pastors, youth workers, and parents in daring our church's youth to be Lutheran. Higherthings.org slash support. Give today.